A huge congratulations, Em. This is incredible. This is, is it a dream come true? It actually is. It's probably like one of the coolest things I would say that's ever happened in my life because I've never really won, I've never won anything for music before. So it's a real privilege. I have, but like not to this extent. So it's a real honour, truly. And what do you mean by this extent? Because the Tate Music Prize, it's huge, isn't it? Oh my gosh, literally. Um, oh, what I mean is that I've I've won before. I, I think I came like, Paul or my manager can correct me, but I think I came maybe like second or third place in the alt or pop category for an online music, like an international music competition, but I've never won anything from, you know, my own country before. And um, so this is a real, real privilege and a dream come true. And I just can't even believe it. It's so nice to have something physical, like, you know, an actual tonga to be able to hold is so special. And is it a, does it make a difference to winning an award for Takahu over Thea? I mean, so many of us know Thea, but Takahu, which mm. you've won the prize for, is quite a new project. Mm, true, yeah. I mean, uh, it would it would rock regardless, but I think for being able to win it for Takahu Orangi, the main difference for me is that they both cope up or serve different purposes to me. You know, they're both political in their own ways, I suppose. Um, but for this record for Te Kahu, it's entirely in Reo Māori, it's entirely in my mita o Waikato o Ngāti Sipa, so entirely in my dialect of Ngāti Sipa and Waikato, and it serves more as like a way for me to be able to, I guess, record whakapapa and um, kōrero, like stories um, and ancestry from, you know, my um, most importantly to me from my female ancestors and from my grandmothers and um, to be able to pass that on so I suppose for for this record to be able to um, receive this honor is huge to me because it's relatively like quite niche in the scheme of things I suppose and so it's it's surprising but in the best way possible because the motives were more for my uh, for ngareanga mo apopo miki, like for the future generations, and just to be able to honor my nannies who um, I really wish were here, but I cannot wait to take this beautiful taonga up to Taupiri to sit with my great grandmother and show it to her because she's um, um, in that very spot is where I played the record when I finished it before it got released to the world because it's all about her anyhow so I wanted her to be a part of it so now it's going to be a real privilege to be able to take this back to her um, and yes yeah, like probably the coolest thing ever 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 so I feel a bit emotional how are you feeling I feel so emotional I was trying so hard not to cry on the stage but also in all honest truth I didn't even expect I would win because the caliber is so high so it, it was just even more of a shock and you know but I, I did write that little pal because I was like oh, I'd like to you know be able to write something um, in the case that I did um, you know win then I would be able to um, write something acknowledging my nannies um, and so that was kind of special. What is the future of music from Takahu or your music of Takahu? Oh, well, the future of, I've already, like I can't ever really stop writing for, I suppose, either project, Thea or Takahu. So there's so many waiata that, and, and stories that I still want to tell and that potentially forever and ever I shall tell. But um, in the immediate future, I'm just so excited for the first time ever to be able to take my performance and my record overseas. So in July, I'm, um, yeah, I've been um, offered the most special of honors to be able to perform at, it's unannounced, but I just want to say it anyway, because it's such a big deal to me, the Calgary Folk Festival and the Yellowknife Folk Festivals in Canada. And it's just, it's such a privilege. So that's what's ahead. Um, for Te Kahu, um, as well as, of course, um, new music. But I'm also trying to focus on um, <laughs> the Thea record, which I'm currently dropping singles from at the same time. So I'm trying to like en enjoy this, but also like keep focused and work on the other project, but also realize that I need to perform both in the next couple of months. So it's kind of just a never ending thing, but I'm just so, I'm so privileged and blessed and just can't believe it. Oh my gosh. Well, a huge congratulations. I want to grab your mic now because I want you to hold up the, show the award oh. to the camera. Okay. Here's my award. I love her so much. She's so beautiful. 
The coolest thing to me, if I'm allowed, if I may speak, is um, that it's got Te Kahu, which of course is the name of this project. The full name of the project is Te Kahu Rangi, Rangi being short for Rangi Rara, my grandmother. And um, so um, this is, um, and Kahu means hawk, by the way, um, because after she passed in 2016, I just kept seeing Kahu everywhere whenever I would return home to our marae. So I felt like, well, hoki mai ai ai kaitsiaki. Yaho, she's returned as a guardian to me. And then also it's just really special with Thea Music, which is like my label, I suppose. It's just, you know, my, me. And so it's just very special to have both of them on here because I don't know if I'll get the opportunity for that. And I mean, who knows, hopefully, but anyhow, I just feel like I've achieved everything, I suppose, that is possible by being entirely independent and it just speaks of real like tiratanga and self-determination um uh, but also um all of it is for my tupuna and for my nannies and so um yeah i'm just really blessed one day when i can get my own studio i'll have at least one award on the mantle um, you know anyway <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully more, but if not, I will love her for eternity. <laughs>